Hi, welcome to Wellness. I'm your host, Linda Lonigan, Senior Clinical Nutritionist. I'm here to show you the very best your community has to offer in health, wellness, fitness, amazing events, and great people. Today, I'm joined by one of those amazing people, Ron Cordillo, who is the originator and founder of an amazing app called Guided Minds. Welcome, Ron. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me, Linda. Uh, I appreciate it. My pleasure. So tell me, how did this um, app come about? Where is its origin? Uh, it came to me sort of through a meditation session, actually. So wow. yeah, um, I've been meditating for like the last 12 years. Uh -huh. And um, it just kind of like was a bolt of lightning that came, sort of like an idea, kind of like take this and, and go, see what happens. Sure. And since then, I've um, been able to find some good people mm -hmm. to join my team and mm -hmm. to sh that share the vision sure. and the passion to try to um, push this thing or manipulate this thing into an existence. Right. So yeah, right. it's and that's, fun. <laughs> and, and, and it's important. I'm always saying that um, in this life, we, we make a difference Yeah. and we do it the best we can. And what you've created is unbelievably amazing. And that's why I wanted yeah. you to be on the show. Thank you. It's still in its infancy. It's still being developed. It's right. in a, what's called a beta phase. Mm -hmm. So we're still building and developing it. Right. Um, but I think it has some wings and the sure. people that we've shown... Uh, the concept and the idea and the direction we're going to. Right. Um, I've actually had people cry <laughs> when I've shown the I idea. Can see that. Yeah, it resonates I can with see them, that. and I'm hoping that it will help as many people as possible. Yeah. And I'm I'm sure it will. Like I said, I've talked to you personally that I so understand, and I want you to explain how the app works. And sure. It's preliminary. Sure. So it's a way. Um, I guess in its most distilled, simplest form, uh -huh. it is a it is a mobile. Um, it's basically a support group in your in your pocket, right? So whatever you're going through, life happens. So um, unfortunately, there's a lot of challenges that happen every day, um, stemming from cancer, anxiety, depression. Um, I've had my own issues with panic attacks and depression and anxiety for most of my life. Um, so, you know, finding the support that you need when you need it, right. it's hard. Um, right. Right. My own experience when I've had my difficult times trying to get an appointment with somebody to talk to somebody, sometimes there's two months out. So yeah. like, you and your family and your friends can only take you so far, right? Right. Speaking to somebody that's been there and done that um, and has gone through it or is currently going through it, that has, um, that has some weight behind it and it helps. So um, I'm hoping that this app can do that. It's a way for people to connect to each other in an anonymous way right. and to really engage in a safe community to find the help that they need. Right. Um, that's one level of it. There's going to be another level where there's going to be almost like power users, the people um, that have gone through really difficult times and mm -hmm. find a lot of strength and right. can help others like right. yourself. Right. Um, they can have a platform where they can have a, a voice to speak to others. Sure. And then the people that are going through it can um, connect with those people. And then maybe eventually we might have a platform where doctors can come on. Mm -hmm. um, an idea that we were toying with is, um, say you have an oncologist that deals with uh, with a certain kind of cancer. They have their patients that um, they help, mm -hmm. um, that, mm -hmm. they're, uh, that they're helping. Um, sure. Those patients can sure. interact with each other, not only through the doctor, but interact with each other on this platform. Right. So it's, you know, there's some rare diseases out there that people are going through that might not have um, the support the group that they need that are easily accessible, whether sure. online. This could be a way for those patients to connect with each other to figure out and find out and understand what's expected. Right. What maybe the first round of chemo or Absolutely. whatever treatment that they're going through. Yeah. So that's an idea that's coming down the pipe. We're developing that too. That's absolutely amazing because I can tell you from personal experience, I have a grief support group that yeah. meets on Tuesday evenings, uh, parents that have lost children. Yeah. And energy is very difficult to to come by. Yeah. And positive when you energy. need and when you need positive reinforcement or yeah. help on the spot, just getting up to go to a support group or a grief support mm -hmm. or getting in the car or getting groceries or anything. If there is an immediate response that someone can get help, yeah. I could tell you personally, it's been 10 years since my daughter passed. But if I had somebody that I knew that I could push a button yeah. to get some kind of response, it, it's just so amazing to me. Yeah. Because um, I even shared it with someone in my grief support group on Tuesday oh. that um, it's coming about yeah. who recently lost someone nine months ago that um, 
it would be immediate because it takes even so much energy to even go and find help. Yeah. If it was just at the touch of a, a finger, yeah. that makes raising your hand saying sense. I need help takes a lot. And it takes, you got you know, it. it's like the first step. And you got it. I'm actually uh, on Facebook. So one of the things I've done to try to do some research and to find out this thing had wings and was going to help people on Facebook, there's support groups. There's a ton for everything, for right. PTSD and depression, anxiety sure. and cancer. So now I've, um, my feed on Facebook is, is I've joined pretty much every group that's out there. So my feed on Facebook constantly, I'm seeing all these people that are saying, I need help. I need somebody to talk to. Right. Um, right. So I'm hoping that, yeah, I'm hoping that we can help those people. Very much so. And you've yeah. also have a diversified, you're not only dealing with people that have a loss, which in itself is a lot, yeah. but you're also dealing with pe pe people with PTSD. PTSD you're kids dealing with bullying, with possibly, yeah. Bullying, people LGBTQ, and... LGBTQ, trying to find a voice in that community. And people with cancer or diseases. Yeah, and a lot of times um, what people don't understand is they overlap. So, um, you know, if you're going so through true. something, yeah. If you, so true. Yeah, if you're, if you're trying to find your voice in the LGBT community or trying to come out, I have family members that have dealt with this. There's depression right. that goes along with it. There's anxiety. You can have panic attacks. It's sure not is. just a one a layered thing. It, there's right. multi, there's depth to it. There's a lot. And so what the app is going to be able to do is use um, a unique algorithm that will, once you onboard, mm -hmm. you answer some questions and will connect you to somebody that has gone through the exact same thing that you're going through. Sure. So I think sure. that would bring value that sure. you can connect with somebody exactly knows what you're going through and you have this little support group and yeah. hopefully you've grown to a big support group very important yeah. you're wise beyond your years Ron. <laughs> i know as, a, as an rd i see patients that um have lost children or those that have lost a mother yeah. and i try to help them to get back on their feet and setting up a design or a plan a meal plan for them that they have accessibility to food i take them into the grocery store i try to help them to find the foods that are easy to cook yeah. and try to get back on track um, as much as possible that they have energy, some energy, and sustain themselves. Yeah, that's important. So, yeah, it's very, very important. And on top of that, I think I've told your lovely wife, Diana, hmm. you should write a book because oh, the both of you... <laughs> maybe you are, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. You. Yeah. Um, I love the way, the simplicity of it in terms yeah. of getting to what you need. Yeah. The problem being one that's not as tech savvy as I should, mm. I can always learn. Yeah. Um, I find that the app, to get to where you need to get to, you're making it as accessible as possible. Yeah, that's the idea is that, you know, we would break down the barriers. Um, technology, the way we have it now, I mean, everything is at the, you know, the tip of your fingers. Sure. So there's no reason that having the support group or help that you need shouldn't be as easy. Right. I mean, you can order an Uber and get to wherever you need. You can sure. order food and have it to like, technology's there. Right. It's just a matter of leveraging that technology to help as many people as you can. Yeah, you got it. Yeah. And you also walk the walk and talk the talk, you try know, to. Diana. <laughs> you do. I try to. Which is very important mentally because when you, when, as I always share with my people and as well as the show, that when you eat well, select great foods, yeah. it's something you want to do for the rest of your life to be yeah. as mentally sound and to minimize feelings of depression. That's really important. Energy. A lot of people don't understand what you put in your body and what you put in your mind. It's not what you just feed yourself um, with food is what you feed your mind and your brain and your heart. Right. Those are all extremely important things. So, I mean, sure you could be eating the greatest food in the world, but if you're if you're around negative people or maybe watching, I don't know, something as silly as horror movies every day, it's sure. it's going to affect your mental state. So it sure. Yeah. You it know, sure you want to see your future. Show me the six people who hang out with the most, and I'll show you your future. I so like it's that. It's very important to I gotta surround, your, that. yeah, That's surround, good. surround yourself with as positive people as you can and people you can learn from and grow from. And both you and Diana are givers. Yeah. In everything you. you do. And it shows. And you. and you're one of those people I want to hang out with <laughs> because it's it's all about if we can be on the chaos and rhetoric, if we can see the forest through the trees, right. through great relationships, great people, positive energy. Yeah. It's it's definitely the way to go. Yeah. So what is another goal, Lafron? I mean, you've got this amazing <laughs> accomplishment. Um I mean I have my own like, you know, personal goals with health and nutrition. Right. Um you know a lot. Yeah, I'm trying to always push myself, like my body. I, I consider that like a way that I can kind of um, set platforms and goals sure. Uh, sure. and try to achieve that. So I work out a lot and um, right. try to clean up my diet right. um, as much as possible. I went vegan for a while, for right. like 11 years. Now I'm, I'm paleo, right. no sugar for 13 years. <laughs> Wonderful. Yeah, so um, 
you know, it's always it's always trying to grow and improve. Um, been meditating for a while too, so it's sure. like perfecting that. It's almost like an art form. It is. You know what I mean? Like learning yourself. Um, Great analogy. Er yeah, everybody has yeah. challenges. You know, fear always pops up. It's trying to sure. manage that fear and, yeah. and yeah. you know face it and not let it control you. And you bet bumps in the road always, but you know you have to overcome them. You got to go with the flow. Yeah. Um, and you're a phenomenal role model for your little guy, Bash. Thank you. You and Diana. I appreciate it. Yeah. As you shared. Well, I want to thank you so much you. for being thank on my show. Thank you so much show. for having me. I appreciate and keep it. keep being you and doing you. amazing things. And good luck with thank this Thank you. I this appreciate app. it. Thank you. I know it's going to be amazing. Thanks. I appreciate it. Remember when you eat well and select great foods. Um, it's something you want to do for the rest of your life. Remember, moderation and balance is key. Have a great night. Thank you so much to my crew. Thank you.